Okay, so I planned on doing something about the whole gold bottle cap issue because there's a lot of like misinformation and just like inaccurate information going on. But I was having a hard time kind of like piecing together what exactly to say. And then like this morning, somebody sent me this tweet and this isn't really to call out the person that made the tweet. It's more so because they somehow managed to put in place a lot of misinformation that makes it easy for me to kind of like dissect and kind of like go over like it's even in like numbers. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, says official Pokemon tournament events, hack check participating teams to check whether the entered pokes are real or whether they have been hacked. That is completely true. The only difference between like now and like, let's say previous seasons and stuff is they've improved the hat checker and basically the improvements come about with them basically catching sloppy jenny like it's not to say that people are um like making them worse now it's just that they've always been making them worse and that game freak is basically just stepping their game up and catching things that easily tell that your stuff is hacked and ginned basically and so that was actually true, but there's a lot of stuff that's wrong. And I'm going to show you and reports inf inform that this checking is carried out confidentially so that no one discovers the way that TPC and its partners use to check veracity. So this is true. I think that, yeah, like a lot of people still don't really know what exactly they're using to hack check. They've really kept that secretive, even in the age of like social media, but it's not out of the realm of possibility for them to have a hack checker since they already have a hack checker in games and they basically make the stuff that we are trying to check. So it's, it's not an extreme thought that they have a hack checker. It just really keep that in mind. Cause I've seen a lot of people act like they're taking like the, some extra steps and like, it's some grandiose thing to hack check when like it's, it's already there. It's been there and they can update it whenever they want to, if they want, if they need to. And so, like I said, there's seven points going to go through all of them. And then you've got this one. And this one is completely wrong. This one is, like, extremely inaccurate. So, players test whether their pokes are legal using home. The technique is simple. The players deposit Pokemon at home and take it back. If he comes back in the fight, then he's clean. Or at least that's what legal means indicate. Um... That's completely inaccurate. That is completely inaccurate, completely false. Home has never been a way to verify something's legal. Home has one of the worst hat checks. That's why you can have a bunch of illegal stuff and just drop it right in the home. Home is awful with hat checks. It's never been a way to verify if something's legal. Only thing home can do is verify whether or not you have a legitimate home tracker. That's all home can really do in terms in terms of legality. Home cannot verify overall legality it is the worst possible way to try and do that so this is just completely wrong that point they made <clears throat> and so they said for the doubt that permeated how could pokes that left home and went to the game in a good way suddenly being checked and accused of being hacked again this is goes back to what i said with that previous point is it's completely wrong this is inaccurate so this is a false statement that is followed from one that was already false basically so, like, if you have put something in home and you got hit with, like, error code 10015, that basically means that you have invalid home tracker data. That does not mean, I mean, yes, technically it's illegal, but that is not a sign of whether if you do get hit with that, that it's illegal. It's just about verifying home tracker. That's all it is. And, it's, and like, it, it gets worse. <laughs> and so now they say the talk today is that TPC uses the app that shall not be named. Yes, himself, the, the talking about PKX, an unofficial app, and how do they raise the suspicion? The developer placed a hidden trap in the software just to see if they will use the program he created or not, and everything indicates that that's the, that the stray worked. It's a trap. This is just stupid. This is stupid. It's, it's beyond false because what happened was a bug, and I'll, I'll demonstrate the bug here on the screen. So. So basically, the bug is because of gold bottle caps. And if you know how bottle caps work, bottle caps basically, if you have a stat that's not 31 or perfect, it will basically make it when you're in battle that this stat is now viewed as perfect. So, and I'll show you this visually using PKX with this Charizard. So 
got this let's go to his stats and so you see he's got 20 here in hp now if this is hyper trained it would be this this is that means basically it has the flag for hyper training however the issue with the gold bottle caps is instead of gold bottle caps making it look like this where everything that is not 31 is hyper trained flagged gold bottle caps did this and because gold bottle caps can i mean because perfect stats cannot be hyper trained this is basically illegal and if you don't know about the bug and stuff like that if you see stuff like this you're going to go, okay obvious sign that it's legal and you're, you're going to flag it and pk hex even flags it so i've never really understood and i've seen this, people say this a lot that this is a trap being laid and that this was something created by pk hex no it's not this is a bug if and a lot of people didn't even know this bug existed and it got patched in december that's how out of the loop a lot of people are with this bug and stuff like that and like didn't even know it was a thing because and this is the fault of like uh tpci because they should have made this known to people because no one knew about this i'd honestly probably say if you aren't somebody who uses pkx like and are actually like fluent with it you didn't know this bug existed you had no idea this was a thing i'd probably say less than like 0.001 percent of pkx users actually knew that this was a bug because no one really knew about it and no one really cared and so did like pokemon company should have like been transparent and told people this was a bug because the people that got dq'd most likely got dq'd by judges who didn't even know this was a bug at all because the way when they did patch it in december it was basically anything that got gold bottle capped after that point it never produced this bug however if it was before the patch the bug will still exist and the way to fix it is you put it into home this is where i think the whole home confusion comes from because putting it into home basically will fix this and remove the flags that's all it is so just really just kind of keep that in mind that this is not a trap laid by pkx this is a result of a bug and if it weren't for pkx and people looking into it y'all would not know this bug actually existed and this bug isn't to say that everyone who's gotten dq from a vgc event is a result of this book that's no anybody making that claim if you're going to do that they're they're just lying trying to spread misinformation trying to absolve themselves the only reason why this bug like false flag dq came out is because checking the team you see that this is basically the only possible thing however in previous times when teams have been checked that from people that get dq'd and stuff you have the usual telltale signs of why they got dq'd and it's usually pretty obvious from like sloppy ginning and stuff so let's go to let's go back let's go to their next point and this one's kind of long and it's just again just more just inaccurate stuff so today a warning was made to players who will try out for the european tournament a friendly warning among the competitors i shared the tweet a while ago informing that there's evidence that pokes that use the golden bottle cap are tracked in events as if they were illegal even though they aren't the advice given among pro players today was don't use pokes like that in an event to avoid being unfairly disqualified but since this item is an official game device bottle caps increase the specific iv of the pokemon while golden increase all ivs it wasn't supposed to be a problem and why is it so again this is kind of inaccurate because the thing is this from everything that's been observed of people who have been dq'd and stuff like that this iv gold bottle cap thing has never been the case until now so like i said you're gonna see a lot of revisionist history and people travel oh yeah that's why so and so got dq like no you're missing the home tracker no you had shared um team data across multiple games like th if this was the case you would have seen this reported if you go back to like kurt's tweets if this was the case of people getting dq'd you see that in the tweets because it's it's pretty clear and it's pretty obvious and again gold bottle caps do not increase all ivs they increase all non-31 ivs and that was the bug that it increased all ivs and again you're you're fine to use it but i mean for safety reasons just throw everything you have into home that way home can clear any of the flags and just put them back that way you know you might not get falsely flagged however if this was a false flag that was occurring the entire time like i said you'd see results of that previously again that's not the case don't let people try to hit you with like revisionist history and then 
for the final point. And he says, remember the trap the developer do PKX creator? This is translated, so that's why the grammar is kind of off a little bit. That was it. The golden bottle cap. And if all of that says today is true, the secrecy that existed in the way teams are checking official tournaments was finally revealed. And in the most shame for TPC way possible, using an app that it condemns with the information confirmed, it is clear that PokeCo is not only unable to pay for PTBR translation, but also needs to program checks for its own games and uses other people's apps. Again, this is this is wrong. This is stupid. It makes no sense. So, again, there is no trap. This was a bug that they had in the game that they did not fix and address properly. It is not a trap and there isn't really a secrecy. And like I alluded to originally, I feel like people put too much into it acting like, I mean, they could very well be some PKX. Don't get me wrong. They could very well be some PKX. However, PKX uses the game to make its legality checker and the games already have a legality checker. So it would make sense that they already have some kind of program in place as a legality checker because it already exists in the game and to say that there's a trap when it's just like again like i alluded to before barely anyone knew this bug existed so if you've got people who don't who aren't experienced like pkx and people who just don't know what they're talking about a lot of information like the person that made this post it's easy to not be well informed and so it's reasonable to assume that what happened was however they were doing the checking and the checker was not aware this bug existed. So, because they saw perfect 31 IVs, they were like, okay, that's illegal. Because it's technically illegal. A, I mean, a hyper-trained 31 IV is technically illegal. So, it's like, if you see that, you're going to be like, okay, that's clear sign it's illegal. Case closed. However, if you don't know it's a bug, you're gonna you're not going to know it's a bug. And that's why I think that... This should have been something that should have been publicly addressed or whatever. And honestly, the people who did get DQ'd, um, in my opinion, they should get compensated monetarily for the trip. And they should also get compensated for uh, the points that they get. They should get equal points to as if they had won the tournament because you don't know what would have happened. And that's just how I feel about it. But anyone else who's been DQ'd previously, this just isn't the case and hasn't lined up with like what has been observed and from teams that have been like shown to us and stuff like that so don't take people's word at it if somebody comes out and says like oh i got dq'd and i don't know why it was probably go bottle cap or whatever ask them to post a rental code if they don't want to post a rental code they're probably lying and i understand the whole point about oh um well privacy or whatever these rental codes and stuff like that get leaked or they pass it around privately so don't don't think that so that's really it um hopefully that kind of broke everything down as best i could um any questions, just ask.